like Baudrillard. <laughs> My name is MC Spell and I like to It's a bit like summer camp on wheels. These slam poets, competitors in a popular new genre of spoken word contest, have been touring the country by bus for weeks, stopping each night to perform in a different city. We just came in from Cleveland, Cleveland. <laughs> and now we're in D.C., and before Cleveland we were in Detroit. Detroit. It's far from a glamorous life. After being on the road for 25 days, it's really hard to remember where we're at and where we've been. We all need showers. We all smell, especially that guy right there. I'm ready for my clothes up to the mail. They're always at a Super 8 motel, the cheapest of cheap lodgings. How long do we have until the show? 7.30. 7.30. What time is it now? 7.30. <laughs> we got 10 minutes to get ready for the show. And they sleep five to the room two to a bed, and one on the floor. Ah! Floors, beds, walls, I'm on, anything. Ceiling. I'm on the floor. You're on the floor? Well, yes. that, that leaves four people in bed. My bed buddy for this trip mostly has been, well, I've kind of switched off. I've been kind of a warmth hussy. Tonight, the roommates include a national slam champion, our Eric Ott from California. So that, these are just really too much wrinkles, I think. Most of them didn't know each other before the tour. Now they know each other very well. Eric Ott, his stage name is Big Papa E, has been on the road for more than two months, selling books to pay his way. Don't destroy the myth of a poor poet. <laughs> We've been selling drugs on the road. That's how we actually make money. In Washington, Eric's responsible for the lineup of poets at this evening's performance at the K29 Club. Everybody else's needs are difficult to juggle, but we do it every single night and it always turns out great. Okay, who's in the second set? Right here. My name is Big Papa E and I am a wussy boy. Eric's trademark poem, The Wussy Boy Manifesto, a is a crowd pleaser. I remember shouting in high school, no dad, I'm not gay, I'm just a little sensitive. I tried to like guy stuff like hot rods and jet planes and Budweiser poster girls and... It's a defense of being the kind of young man who doesn't conform to masculine stereotypes, who likes poetry more than football, who is usually hopelessly in love with a girl who doesn't love him. Something of being a wussy boy, it's all about unrequited love and there are tons of ex-girlfriend poems in my au revoir. To a wussy boy, unrequited love is the only real kind. And I have this series of ex-girlfriend poetry dedicated to Sonia. Should I say her whole name? Sonia Mansfield. I loved you and you rejected me, so I wrote poetry about you. And I rock out right to his face. I am human and I need to be loved just like everybody else does. I am wussy boy. Hear me roar. Poetry is so popular now because it's just my mouth going to your ear, nothing in between. I've got no other reason for doing that other than I have a feeling in my chest and I want you to feel what I feel. And it feels unique, but it's the most ancient form of expression known to man. Beside the dumpster, a rat drinking rain from an eggshell. Despite the appreciative audience and free drinks, the poets don't sell a lot of books in Washington that night. But the next morning, spirits undampened, it's sightseeing and a little football. Uh-oh. They got the football out. Contrary to his poem, Eric can play ball. There it is! I caught one! And then back on the bus. Baltimore, Maryland is the next stop. Then on to New York only a week until the end of the tour. This is my travel companion. His name is Poetry. Yeah. He's a winning domino. Can you see him? But even when this trip comes to an end, Eric plans to continue traveling solo as a performance poet on what he calls his Couches Across America tour. The last thing he wants right now is a real job, like the one his father thinks he should take as an insurance agent. He prefers to stay a wussy boy, for at least a little longer. I guess part of being a wussy boy is having that firm hold of what what you saw when you were a kid. It's, this world is magical. 
And if I'm a wuss for holding on to those concepts and having to bring my teddy bear along with me, then hey, so be it. I don't want to. I don't want to die before I'm old. Carolyn Weaver, VOA TV. Sonia poem number 16. I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Oh, please take me back.